Yo, what's up guys, Maverick here and welcome back to your week daily dosage of, I would say Mavlan, but I don't stream anymore, Draft to Glory, but you thought it was going to be the end of the 193-194 challenge. It's not. It is not because Rotashaw has been going at it and guys, you know, anything Rotashaw can do, I can do much worse and to a lot less people. So naturally, I'm going to try and break his world record attempt and I'm, I'm going to try and get the 194 again. And you know what? I said I would lose my next game before 50 wins and I did do that. So I feel like I need to get to winning ways and winning ways. The only way to do that is to go for the 194. So this might be the last attempt at it. It may not. Depends how the viewership goes on them moving forward and how many more Harry does because anything Harry does makes FIFA better and makes people actually want to watch FIFA, which is always a good thing when we do FIFA videos. But that being said, let's go into it. Like I said, it might be a 3-5-2 formation at the back or a formation with three at the back because that is the simplest. 3-4-3 three, three flat. I think that's going to be our best shout. Although, saying that, left mid and right mid, there aren't any high rated players. 5 2 2 1 potentially could actually work better because there are high right backs, there are high left backs, there are high centre backs. So I might actually go for the 5 2 2 1. This could be the make or break of the entire challenge. Captain is the most important. Why does it do this to me? Uh, why does it actually do this to me? There's a 95 team leader De Bruyne and we're trying to get a 194 when drafts are being awful now. I, I said it in my last video. They're just not giving out anymore, but we need best. Prime icon best. 95 Messi works. That absolutely works. He's actually higher rated than uh, best is. So he gets himself into that slot. Lineker or someone along those lines would be great right now. We don't. We get Rashford. Or Cavani. Now, Cavani's 91 rated. Chemistry-wise, we're looking in a world of trouble here. And this... This... Silver... We're getting a silver. Honestly, I do, I do not know what, what to say or what to do at this point. Left centre midfield, it's got to be something big. Has to be something big. It's not. It's not that big. It's really not that big. Why do I feel like people are going to clip that? Um, we're going to go for 90 rated Kante. He is obviously the highest rated there. And he gets us some chemistry. Left back, I need Team of the Year Marcelo. I need it. Like, I literally need it at this point. I don't get it. I get Vertonghen. Which is shocking, really, in itself. We're going to go with... I can't take Vertonghen. He's too slow. It's not going to work for me. I'm going to have to go Sandro. I'm just going to have to hope and pray that we get Meccano. That's exactly, exactly who I wanted. Uh, right back. There's going to be no chemistry in this draft at all. None whatsoever. Uh, I'm going to go Prem in 89 Alexander-Arnold. He is, of course, the highest rated as well. We need an icon. We need Maldini. We... we, we... <sighs> Couldn't have given me Team of the Year Van Dyke. No, didn't fancy it. No, absolutely just didn't fancy it today. Every time I've gone for a high rate draft, we've not got anything close. Absolutely nothing close. Now here, just PK is the only one that works, really. I mean, Koulibaly works as well, so it might be a Koulibaly job. But what I'm thinking is PK. I don't know why I'm thinking PK. Because the right wing, I, I don't actually know why. I, re I really don't, at this point, it, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to go PK. Reason being, we could get David De Gea in goal, who would go with PK, Meccano, and Van Dijk. Instead, we get Kiko Casilla, who goes with two. And that is it. So we're going to go Kiko Casilla in goal, 80 rated. Yeah, guys, the 194 is gone. It's absolutely gone. There's zero chance of it happening at this point. Then we're going to go Marcelo. No, Jordi Alba. Because then I can switch Meccano around and put Jordi Alba at left back. And PK gets a lot of chemistry. I could have gone Manalas. 
but that kind of messes things up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is that, 74 chem. We're rocking and rolling a little bit more now. We need some icons, that's that's it. There we go, we get Lewis Figo, 93 rated. Um, we do get Loris, who doesn't help. So we're gonna go Figo. We're gonna pop Figo into that slot there. And bang, it's looking a little bit better chemistry-wise. Rating-wise, it's looking shocking. We do get 88 rated Mbappe. So that could actually work um, potentially moving forward as well because that gets Cavani in. But I am obviously going to go Del Piero for now. Del Piero, Figo even. Can't see who they are. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I reckon Casemiro would be a good shout here. Casemiro would probably be the best shout that I've got out of all of those options. So I am going to go Casemiro, 88 rated. Next up, we get no one use. Well, I say no one useful. We get a Bamiang, who of course is Prem, so we can chuck him in there. We now need a Prem left winger. Or Del Piero. Del Piero absolutely works out. Annoying, because I really want to take Fabinho. But we have to take Del Piero because of that silver we've got there. So it's actually turning around quite nicely here. I mean... At the end of the day, we have absolutely not got a 194 here because unless every option from this point onwards is a 99 rated player, it's not going to happen. We do get Neymar though, which is a nice option. So I'm going to take Neymar, 93 rated. Skipping that because it's a horrible option. We're going to take Nabry just because why not? Again, skipping that because it's horrible. We get Denis Suarez, who would actually help us out chemistry-wise in there. Um, that being said, I can't not play N'Golo Kante. So N'Golo Kante is going there. 7-7-10. Seven, seven, so we actually, we've actually done pretty well, I'd have to say, with the draft options that we were given. I think we've done really, really well here to turn this one around. We could put Matip in but it's not really going to help right now. But potentially, depending on what other keeper option we get, it could work. Look at these Look at these options. These options help absolutely no one. Second goalkeeper option, David De Gea would have helped out a lot. But of course, we don't get him. Um, we do get Sillison, who does work for PK and Van Dijk, but not Meccano. So I'm going to take Sillison. There we go. I've actually managed to get everybody onto 10 chemistry. So we've got Matip, Van Dijk in the middle. And like I said, do you know what? For the options that we got given, I have done a very good job here. And I know people like to say I'm not that great at draft. I think you need to take that back because I have really pulled it out of the fire here. Really, really pulled it out of the fire. And I know a lot of people um, like to see the chemistry and rating. There we go. It's a 188. So probably a 189 when I rearrange it. Uh, must be weird being able to hear my voice but not actually see me. Um, but this surely is going to be a 189. Once again, there we go. It has 189. It is now a 189. Um, again, really quick. I'm going to show you guys for the people that want to see it. But that is the team. Uh, this is what we're going to work with. And uh, we've got some really nice super subs. So I'm probably going to sub Casemiro in for Denis Suarez in that middle of midfield because he's a lot more defensive than a De Bruyne is, for example. And then I'm probably going to use Mbappe, Neymar and Messi depending on how the game goes and what positions I need to change from there. But I think I've done fairly well and I'm not too upset with that. I'm really not. Let me add a manager. We need a Prem manager, although it doesn't really change anything. we got an English manager, so that is literally everybody on 10 chemistry now. So, I'm fairly proud with that, and I, I think I've done myself justice. I really, really do. Not for the 194 attempt, but just for the life attempt. I think we've done really well. But let's go into game number one, and let's see if I can win game number one with this weird formation. I forgot to record the end of game number one, but no fear, I managed to beat Lazy Calf 984567123. And, uh,. It was 2-0, 19 minutes gone, and he decided he didn't want any of it. He was not interested in it. Uh, Del Piero's goal there was from a penalty kick where I sold him dreams. 
and finished it off. And then Del Piero, I believe, scored again. Low driven, standard kind of finish, normal pass and play, that sort of thing. And he just wasn't interested. So we move on into game number three, which is, of course, the semi final. Is it? Yeah, semi final. We go into that one. Hopefully, we can win that. But the 5 2 3 or the 5 2 2 1, I think this is called, is a boring formation. But it seems to be effective right now. I don't see me using it more times than this. But if it wins us the draft, we may have to look at using it over some other formations we're not very good with. So let's go into game that number three. Let's see if we win that game. Or we might get smacked by someone who is actually really good at the game. This game was about as even as you can get a game of FIFA. Now, eight shots, six on target for me. Eight shots, five on target for him. His goal to win the game was an individual error from my from myself. So, I can't be annoyed. So, like I said, it was really even, apart from the fact I booted him the ball. I mean, it's really frustrating that Matip, my centre-back, doesn't try at least to get himself in front here. Uh, but, like I said, it was my mistake. It was costly. Really, really costly. I'm going to show it one more time because it was just stupid from on my part. I was trying to just chip it out uh, to start off a quick attack. And I booted it straight at his Havertz, who he read the ball with or read where I, what I wanted to do with it and scored. Um, now, is it annoying that I miss chances like this one here? Yes, it is annoying. Because that is inform Neymar. And that is a very, very good opportunity and a very good shot at goal. And it does fly wide. Is that annoying? Yes, it is. But uh, even game, lost by myself. Won by him. Can't really complain. And packs-wise, we might be able to get a silver pack here. We don't. We actually get a jumbo premium gold pack and a premium gold pack. So it's a case of we have four packs at the moment potentially stored up for foot birthday at the weekend or stored up for team of the season depending how you guys want this to advance forward and how you want me to save the packs and use the packs so again keep letting me know in the comment section how you want me to use them i am not going to open them right now we've got 78k until we get to a point where i'm really really low which we can do two or three more drafts before foot birthday which is probably this friday by the looks of things if it's earlier that's a bonus but we can do quite a few more drafts so we can store a few more packs for a big promo and hopefully we can then make a lot of coins back and uh, obviously be around the 100k mark at the end of the packs unlikely but it's worth a try we might as well give it a go this series is here to experiment with things like that and we might as well try it because there's not much else to do at the minute on fifa so why not have a bit of fun and experiment but guys that's going to wrap it up for today's video if you did enjoy Please help us out by smashing that like button. Please do subscribe and join the Wolf Pack if you haven't already. It's been your boy Maverick, and until tomorrow at 10 a.m., I am out.